Hi everybody, really excited to provide you some online lesson content for hopefully your in-between time between Rita. I think it would be a really great opportunity for you guys to just get some extra drills, extra eyes on you, make sure everything's looking really good. So I wanted to give you an example of what I'd be providing you. So on the right is one of my current lessons. This was her first lesson with me a couple months ago and then on the left is me. So I'll usually, I like to compare um, different pictures so it could be me comparing a video of myself and you, or it could be a different picture, maybe a younger picture that I have that does a lot of really good things, or it could be maybe a college picture that I find video of. So whatever it is that I see that you need to work on, I will compare you with a picture that does it well so that you can see what they do and kind of see that comparison and give you a visual representation of what um, mechanical things to work on moving forward. So we'll go ahead and start the video. So you can see our load's a little bit different than mine, which is fine. Um, but right through here is kind of where I want to start to point out some differences. So I'll mostly focus on the back foot for now. So you guys can see that right away. She's already at this um, kind of nine o'clock position pretty sideways. So what that does is it just kind of at times can throw our arm circle out of whack, but it also um, really keeps us almost too open. We get open too soon within our pitch and our arm really wants to rest by our hip. So sometimes getting too sideways actually causes us to um, come into contact with that back hip. If you ever have a problem hitting your elbow, a lot of times that's why, because we're too sideways at this nine o'clock position. So ideally I like to think about keeping shoulders and hips square towards the target as long as possible. So this is usually about the longest we can keep that happening. And as we keep going, the other thing that I like to look at is the bend in the arm. So right here that you can see that Delaney's arm is pretty straight, while mine has a little bit more bend right through there. So that's going to provide really good whip. But again, it's easier to keep this position if you start in the leg. So making sure that that um, back foot of Delaney's, if it were um, laces facing forward, she would be able to get her body in general into better positions to create whip and to create good arm movements, but it all starts with the legs. All right, going forward, you can also see here that she starts to lean where the difference between me is I'm still back in kind of a reverse posture. I'm sure you guys have heard that term a lot. Um, so the difference in posture there is huge, which comes from our ability to really drive out properly on the landing. So that sideways landing is also leading to her getting a little bit too forward in her pitch. And finally, at release, you can kind of see Delaney's hand right here. She has a tendency or did have a tendency to pull straight up off of the ball, which can a lot of times give us issues with our biceps. So I try to look for that um, and try to really create a nice relaxed loose finish for everybody as well. Um, so those are kind of the main points with Delaney that we've covered in our lessons. So this is an example of what I'd be providing you in that first evaluation, just letting you know, okay, these are the things that I think we should work on. And then the next step would be me giving you drills on how to do that. So I will provide that to you in the next video.